Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, Haltech just came out with their new beta for their NSP software, and I'm going to try and show some people how to do the indicator lights on top for like the RPM. So to start off, I'm going to use just a generic photo, just to, as a placeholder, as where your normal dash would be. And you can go ahead and place your first indicator. I recommend that you put this in the center. It just makes it easier to space them all out evenly. I think I end up putting seven total. So now once you have one placed and centered, you can go ahead and duplicate that layer. I do all my work out of Photoshop. If you have another program that you're more comfortable with that you can do something similar with, you can go ahead and use that. NSP doesn't care as long as it is a PNG file. Now that all those are duplicated, we can go ahead and start spacing them out. This is completely up to you on how you'd like to space them. I personally think that this looks like a good distance, so this is what I went with. So now once you have all the indicators laid out, you can go ahead and highlight all the files, make sure they're rasterized, and then you can merge them. Then you go to the quick select tool. You can hold shift to select multiple at a time, which I did here. And then once they're all selected, you go ahead and click on your background image and hit the delete button. And that should now remove those dots from the previous layer. And then you can delete that layer. That's pretty much all you have to do in Photoshop. So we'll export it as a PNG. That's important to make sure it's a PNG. You can label it whatever you'd like. Something that you'll remember. And then you can go into the Haltech program. A new file. IC7- dash. Then you're going to click new screen just the blank screen. And now you can go ahead and add your image. So you right click, hit add component, hit images, then choose file, then upload a file from your PC. Then you locate the file that you saved for the PNG and then click on it and hit use selected file. Now you're just going to have to expand it to fit the entire screen. Okay, now that you have the background image, you're going to go ahead and add component, then bar horizontal. Then you can go ahead and make it a rough estimate on the correct size. I like to line it up right below it. You can rename it if you'd like. Then I go ahead and I remove the tick marks. So I'll just make the opacity completely zero. I'll change the background to black or whatever your background is for the image. You can also change that to zero. The bar value is the actual meter. So whatever you keep that as is what you will see displayed. So if that was yellow, it would be yellow. If it was green, it'll be green. In the next video, I'll show on how to get three colors on the bar. This is just green to red, but in the next video, it's going to be green, orange, and red. It's a little bit more complicated, so for now, I'm just going to do this, but I'll link that in the top right of this video. So now that all the colors are set, you want to change the position, which is super important. It's the Z position. That's to choose which layer it is in front of or behind. So obviously you want this to be behind your background image so that it'll show through only the dots. So if you're doing this and you're just seeing the entire bar show up all the time, it's because the position is incorrect. You will either have to bring forward your background image or send back your horizontal bar. As you can see now, it's fully functioning. So it goes from green to red based on the RPMs that I've input. So everything from zero to 6,500 is going to be green and then from 6,500 to 8,000 will be red. So you can adjust that to whatever you want for your car. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. Hopefully that helped set up the RPM indicators on your dash. I'm gonna try and start putting out more of these videos to try and help people learn and get better at this software. I'm obviously still learning as well because it's very new to all of us. Um, once this comes out of beta, I'm sure they're gonna offer a bunch of more features and it'll be a little bit easier to work. But for now, 
just stay tuned and hopefully you learn something. See you next time.